growing up, my mum had multiple sclerosis. She was really quite ill and needed a lot of help with her activities of daily living, washing and feeding and medication, which kind of meant that my dad was a single parent. I had to help him out a lot. And I put school as a second priority and felt like she needed me at home more than I needed to be at school. As a result of the difficulties we faced as a family growing up, we had a lot of support from my maternal grandparents and schools and social work and charities just to kind of make sure we were staying on the right track. After my mum passed away when I was a teenager, I really started to take school seriously. I wanted to better my life and was supported by my dad to change schools and buckle down and I met some really good teachers there that helped me make it and I've just kind of realised how short life is and you need to grab every opportunity. The past year at GCU has been my most enjoyable and memorable things that I've been learning for the first three years kind of started making sense and I was putting real life value into it and into practice. I received the first scholarship to go to the African Leadership College in Mauritius and that totally pushed me out of my comfort zone. I'd never really been away from home properly, um, hadn't had a passport and living wise, you know, they live a totally different life over there. And that gave me the confidence to go to America and go out and do what I wanted to do, which probably before ALC I wouldn't have done. Grown up music was always something I was good at. It was an escape for me to deal with many of the issues I faced. I spent a lot of time at home. I managed to teach myself some instruments and the basics of music and found out I was quite good at it. I found out about an opportunity to work abroad with people with special needs and would combine music with that as well. So I couldn't believe that I could do my passion and get to travel and work with that population as well. So I went to a charity in Utah and worked with people with severe kind of disabilities and special needs and saw firsthand what music brought to their lives just as much as what it brings to me. I'm now going into my fourth year specialising in psychology. I really have been thinking over the summer and think, you know, I want to focus on music psychology and it really, I don't think I would have came to that decision without going to America and seeing what I did and doing what I did. So I'll be forever grateful for the donors and for Salak for letting me go, not just for my academic studies, but as a person, like it's the longest I've ever been away from home and not been a carer, and I really got to be me and do what I wanted to do. So thanks.